about it now let's look at the acknowledgement and uh, let's look at the title title page uh, let's look at the title page i'll just give you guys an overview uh, if you guys want to uh, uh, if you guys want to have this template i can i can i'll put a copy of this template in the repository you can have a you can have a look i'll just comment this out and i'll just comment this out and put them in a repository and also put a sample title page sample title page for you guys to look at and a sample abstract page and everything so that if you guys want to mimic exactly what i'm doing you can do that okay and for the uh, acknowledgement uh, for the abstract i mean for, let's, let's go with the title uh, the title page where is it yeah open this with text studio and this is actually the title page uh, if you guys look at it this title page this title page, I'm including it, uh, including it over here. To say that there's nothing in this page, it's not. It's neither a section. It's neither a, an input file nor a chapter or anything. It's just a plain file. Just say that you just write this line. This page style empty. Thereby, you indicate to the compiler that okay, this page has no particular styling whatsoever. It's not a chapter nor an input or anything. Just plain file and then what you do is that you just write this comment begin center and this environment begin and begin center environment and you close it with the end center environment and between that okay give some space uh, and then you write begin large and end large and within that you write your you write the con you write the title uh, write the title and what you do is what i've done is that i used the backslash uppercase command and uh, with inside i used text bf and wrote this wrote the title super wrote the title of the doc, title of the rip, uh, thesis and then afterwards i gave a vertical spacing of 0.5 centimeters small spacing of 0.5 centimeters okay and then i've given i've written uh, within uh, within upper casing within this same upper casing i've written uh, given a, a line break and then I've written a roll of dust in the general circulation, which is which becomes this, uh, uh, which becomes the subtitle. Afterwards, what I've done is that I used V space vertical spacing. I set this to 1.5 cm to give a 1.5 cm spacing, and then I write and then I write uh, the declaration a thesis to be submitted for the partial fulfillment of you know master's degree and so on and so forth. Like that, you submit, you write your uh, casing you write your write a declaration and i want this declare and and, uh, and for my thesis i wanted this declaration to be in bold face as well as italics so i use text it and text bf in sandwich mo in one inside the other like an inception kind inception thing if you guys remember what i mean <laughs> okay do i did that and then so it comes like this if you guys want this to be in some kind of a gothic like format it's also possible but you just have to find such about a bit this found this was more than sufficient for me so i'm okay i was okay with that next what you what you can do is that if you want uh, since all of the so, then you can write your then i what i did i just wrote my name uh, and then this uh, this bike is over here this my name is over here uh, the guided by is over here. My guide's name is over here. And after, okay, and to add, uh, and to give this uh, spacing of this spacing, all I use I just use this command V fill. It's like H fill. What it does is it just vertically fills the contents with spacing, uh, adequate spacing. And then to include the my institute logo over here, I institute logo over here. I included this uh, include graphics package and i set the width to be 0.5 times the text width so that it's kind of nicely shrunk and placed and then it's uh, uh, set the image size everything and, uh, and then afterwards below that i've set my institute uh, name and institute address and so on and so forth like that with the uh, the day with the month and the year and what i've done is that to intend to give some spacing i use v space command and v fill command to set the spacing so that uh, you know so that this entire page gets aligned properly now if you are now the, the thing to be uh, aware of over here is that uh, if you want you can draw lines over here and rules or uh, lines over here that's also possible um, now how do we do about with that i guess it's possible to draw lines over here and uh, also it's possible to include more more contents over here and if you were to uh, design your own uh, title page 
then uh, title page then make sure that every time you run once in a while make sure that everything comes out nicely you just have to use the v fill and v spacing and everything i get everything nicely nice and nice and nicely so that you know this entire thing comes uh, comes comes neat okay that's about the title page now let's look at uh, look at uh, acknowledgements part now if i were to now if i look at the acknowledgements part now the acknowledgement part is simple there's hardly any tech there's hardly any contents in it all i've written is that i just written i just gave some spacing intent i just made some intentional spacing and then uh, wrote the acknowledgements about it and that's it nothing nothing pretty nothing pretty serious i mean nothing pretty uh, complicated just some basic writing basic write uh, write up of write up of my acknowledgement that's it just some paragraphs nothing much <coughs> other than style nothing so this way you can just directly include acknowledgements in the templates and not a problem so this way your title page is ready acknowledgement is ready now let's look at the abstracts now to look at the abstract what i've done is that uh, uh, where's my abstract i've taken this file over here and this abstract just like uh, acknowledgement it does not have any uh, big uh, modification it just plain it just plain text over here it just plain text over here uh, they're just written over here i use this command back, backslash sl so that uh, if you look at the document my, my abstract is tilted my abstract is tilted okay the reason is because i've used this command sl now this makes sure that the text is tilted to give a tilting view and if you want your acknowledgement to have a tilted view just write a sl at the top and that's enough and after this all this content will be tilted and uh, the thing is only my abstract has to be tilted and afterwards other content should not be tilted so what i've done is that at the bottom of the my abstract after finishing it i just wrote backslash r thereby from here on from the from here on till the end of the document everything will be you know regular it will be in regular form regular format okay and that's about uh, abstract and what's next and then introduction chapters and everything then th those are just uh, plain chapters what i've done is that i uh, just i just give you guys a just the introduction i'm not going to show you my all the all the stuff uh, just the introduction this is my this is my introduction chapter okay what i've done is that uh, okay i can just show this in a big manner no no expand it expanded screen i just included my section uh, chapter sections uh table i've included tables subsections and so on and so forth all of them included what i've done is that uh, for my, all my tables and stuff i've included a label label and to me sometimes I, uh, there is an option called a scale box as well the scale box is sometimes used for you know crunching and shrinking the entire contents to fit the page okay fit the page and stuff and uh, this 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 becomes really useful if you have very large images or very large tables that you can't fit it in the top fit it within with the inside the page and they're getting truncated and all this is useful so just have a look okay and uh, that's about it i just for uh, I, just, I have figures and everything for all of them i set the captions so captions like this and caption captions and everything and label so that whenever if i were to refer to some places i can just refer to them for instance if for instance i referring i'm referring to this this figure label nh seasons over here using this command uh, ref nh seasons uh, nh seasons actually the label name or the key name key or label for this figure i'm referring it over here like that and this way uh, it all goes it all goes smooth and sound you can just uh, go on and go about with that okay and if you uh, go about with that not a big deal not a big deal and that's how the introduction chapter looks like similarly uh, similarly you, if you want to place multiple images it's also possible i'll just give you guys one quick look at one of the chapters so that you guys get an idea of what's going on just a look okay i'm not going to show you all going to show you guys over there to have a uh, uh, what I've done here is that I've used uh, uh, mini mini pages over here for mini pages and f box over here for making multiple uh, images 
for my for making multiple images and I, what i've done here is i use to use the use a sub figure option i've used the subfloat option over here to place images 